YouTube channel. All right, you guys, so for this week's video, I have a $20,000 hotel room and a $20 hotel room. So I don't think we got the nice $20,000 room. Don't judge a book by its cover. The cover is pretty obvious. Yeah, <laughs> have to think positive though, okay? okay. All right, let's, let's open this up and we'll see. After you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> what? This, this is, is our room? room? Oh my God. I'm not. I don't even know what this looks like. <laughs> Holy crap. This, this is, is our room. So gross, but there's literally ants on the wall. Dude, that is disgusting. Oh, Bro. God. And we're supposed to stay here? That's gross. Dude, that's gonna be under our pillows tonight. Heck no. There's okay, so I had a feeling we were gonna get the $20 hotel room. So I brought a black light. We're gonna see what's really on these walls, in the bed, and on the curtain. You know how to work that thing? Yeah, it goes like this. Oh. Okay. See? Well, let's scan away. Jeremy, lift up the curtain. Why do I have to touch it? You touch it. Ew, you touch it. Oh gosh, it's so dirty. What is this? It's a $20 curtain. Oh my god. All right, I think we should check the walls now, okay? Yeah, definitely. Oh Ew. my god, bro. Look at all those stains on the yeah. wall. Hey! Okay, so who are you? I'm one of the Skylock butlers here. 24 hour butler service. We do the food and beverage for the guests in our loft. Oh my god. I did not know you had a butler. Uh, we're also the electrician, the plumber, the technician, the psychiatrist, the psychologist, you name it. We do everything. <laughs> wow. God. Okay. What? So, do you think you can show us around the room? Absolutely. All right. Starting off strong with the foosball table. I've walked in and I've seen guests playing for $5,000. Game. <laughs> it's also our game room here though. You can connect your cell phone, your uh, Bluetooth up to the speakers, the sound system, and uh, play your music while you're partying. Yes. This is like a little too nice. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like so this is one of our slushy machines, which we've never actually done for a guest before. It's special for her birthday. Wow. You guys, our own personal slushy machine in the room. Brett, come check out this view. Look at that. It's the parking lot. It's not that bad. I like the trees and the scenery. Oh, and there's a cat over there. Look at that. It's not moving. I think it's dead. No, it's just taking a nap. If you guys want to take a look out the window at our beautiful Las Vegas Strip, this is the pimp suite. And the ones that face the Strip, the other side, don't tell anybody, that faces a dirt parking lot in the airport. <laughs> so after seeing the rest of the lot, we're going to go upstairs and we're going to see the bedrooms now. There's an upstairs. How many square feet is this room? This one's about 5,000 square feet. And how much does this cost per night? It can vary depending on the day of the week, depending on the weekend, holidays. It could go for a of 20 grand. And sometimes I've even seen it where you just have to be gambling two to three times that in the casino and the entire room is comped. What? You guys, this is actually crazy. So you guys want to take a look at our steam shower and sauna right here? What? The shower doubles as a sauna. Oh, this is real right? Yeah. And look, there's even a bench. <laughs> <laughs> Light. Oh, Nolan! I've been standing here for eight hours waiting for her. Yes, Miss Benifer Lopez. Maybe a fruit platter? I don't know. She's low maintenance, these two. <laughs> we, we get a $20,000 hotel room for one night and we turn into like snobs. Oh my god! Is that poop? Is it your poop? Dude, we just got in here. What do you mean? Bruh, that is disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Oh! Guys, our bathroom has robes. You know what we have to do. We could do that too. This hotel should be like $10, not 20. I don't know why it's so bad. I mean, there's not even a massage place. My neck hurts really bad. I, I got you. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, you can stop. How's it feel? No, you can stop now. Stop. You said you want a massage. You guys, we can literally get a massage in our room. God, I love this video, Lexi. <laughs> I still think my massage would have been better though, Lexi. I don't know about that, Andrew. This room really has it all. Hey, no food can go to waste. Oh my gosh, why would you eat that? So it's fine, I was like a gift or something. We don't know where that came from. It was like a gift. They left the chocolate bars on our pillows. 
I wonder if they have room service. Hi, uh, do you guys have room service? No, we don't, sorry. Okay, all right, thank you. Well, good thing we have some salami, though. Why do you, where do you keep finding that? <laughs> Those under the pillow. The room service here is supposed to be phenomenal, and Andrew and I are getting pretty hungry. <laughs> so we're gonna order food. Um, we'll do, um, do you guys have chocolate strawberries? Perfect, thank you. <laughs> All in with the room service. My pleasure to serve uh, Madame Rivera. Wow. You guys, I'm Madame Rivera now. Everybody can call me that. Okay, our room service has arrived. This looks really, really good. Okay, the best part about this room is that I didn't pay for it. Brent did. And he's in the $20 hotel room, so. <laughs> this, is, this is how we repay him. I guess so. Guys, right, check this out. The TV doesn't even work. It's literally not even turning on. Let's get back to that massage then. We have six TVs in our room. That seems so unnecessary, why? Yeah, a little bit unnecessary. Well, their place doesn't have a pool, so we decided to order a pool, and we're gonna have our own pool day in our room. Oh yeah. How's that sound? It sounds good to me. Smart thinking, right? Mm -hmm. Marco! Polo. Marco! Polo. Dude, you're really good at this game. Marco! Polo! Ouch! Where you at? Our hotel comes with a lot of amenities, like a pool, a casino, and a lot of champagne. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, let's see what else they have. Bro, we don't need to be divided. We need to be one. What are you doing? Yeah. Dude, we need to divide. It's fine, bro. Well, yeah, chill. All right, well, we're going to try and get some sleep. Hopefully, this goes by quicker. <laughs> Do you want to snuggle? All right, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to go to the $20,000 hotel. You can enjoy this hotel room by yourself. What's that? Oh. Can I stay with you guys? Sure. Fine. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Yes! All right! All right, let's make room for me! Woohoo! I'll take that. Wait, what are we watching? What is going on? What do you got? Oh, yeah, okay. we're done. Let me get the fuck out of here! For this week's video, I have one of the world's largest houses and one of the world's smallest houses. And to decide who gets to stay in which house, I had to think back to my traumatizing experience last week. This literally looks like a jail cell. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, what the? Why is there a banana peel in the middle of your room? No. Wait! <laughs> Lexi! I've been here for over an hour and I haven't caught anything. Yep. He gave me the $50 vacation while he and some friends enjoyed a luxurious half a million dollar vacation. Someone had to get the $50 vacation, and to be honest, I'm glad it was her. How could you? Oh, 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 I knew this was a setup. So I'm doing what needs to be done. I'm getting revenge. Like and subscribe to see how this goes. Okay, we are pulling up to one of the world's largest houses, and holy sh I'm sorry, you guys. I don't normally guess, but this is crazy. You guys, I kind of feel bad that Brent doesn't get to experience this, but it's hard to feel bad when this is my house for the night. This is definitely the smallest house I've ever seen. And this is it. This is it? One of the world's largest houses. So yes, this is one of the world's largest houses, but it's also on 90 acres of land. That's a lot of desert. And the entire exterior is made out of mirrors. I could really see myself loving this place. Get it? Oh my gosh. We're gonna see what this place has to offer. So the first thing that you see when you walk into this house is the 100 foot long pool. This is crazy. I don't know how I'm affording this for tonight. Now I'm gonna bring you guys to the kitchen and living room area. Right this way. Sorry, just uh, we're almost there. Just a little bit longer. I need to take a break. This is tiny, but livable. Let's check it out. So we have a bed, a little sitting area, which is really nice. Like the kitchen has a stove. And that's it. That's all we got. The world's largest kitchen. The living room. The world's largest book about how to become a taxi driver. We don't even need to talk about that. Bedroom number one. Another bedroom. Bathroom number one. But I'm going number two. Just kidding, I don't want you guys to think I poop. I don't do that. And this is the master bathroom. And this is my custom bathroom. See y'all in five minutes. Hey, I'm showering. Get out of here. Hey, this house does come with a hammock, which is nice. You know, you can relax. Get eaten by coyotes. <laughs> Lexi. Oh, right. The master bathroom. And fun fact, this bed frame is the most expensive thing in the entire house, and it weighs one ton. 
He backed away so much that they had to use a crane to bring it through the window. All right, it's day eight in the world's tiniest house. It's been 30 minutes. It well, feels like it's been eight days. I don't even know how Lexi found this because this isn't a house. It's a room. I mean, it's literally smaller than my own bedroom. I feel like this wouldn't be as bad if like Pearson was here or something. What? I'm just kidding. You guys, there was a cheese board in the fridge. I wonder if Brent's found the tiny food that I left for him in his tiny house. I kind of just put it there to make him feel worse. The world's smallest house also comes with the world's smallest cup of coffee. So. The world's smallest plate of pastries. Well, it's five o'clock somewhere. Cheers. And I also have the world's tiniest assortment of fruits. I think I'm gonna have an apple. Yeah, I don't think these are edible. You know, at first I thought these were cool, but now it's starting to feel like a slap in the face. So now I'm just hanging out by the pool. I bet you thought you were gonna get some feet pics right then and there. Well, you weren't. So there's no AC in my tiny house, so to show you guys how hot it is, I'm gonna cook an egg outside. Look at that. It's cooking, that's crazy, it's that hot, it's literally cooking. Oh my gosh. Well, 105 degrees, guys. It's hotter than a stove out here. All right, I think I'm having a little too much fun and it's probably time that I check in on Brent. Hello? Hey, how is it? It's actually really good. Oh, really? No, it's 105 degrees in here, Lexi. It's as small as a box. Um, okay, well, I have a little challenge for you. No, bye. Hello? He hung up. Something tells me Brent's not having a good time. Hello? Aren't you bored? Yeah, obviously. Well, me and my videographer are gonna play hide and seek, so I challenge you to play hide and seek with your videographer. Deal? Okay, fine. Good luck. Are you up for a game of hide and seek? Lexi, this house is massive. How am I gonna find you? That's why it's called hide and seek. All right, let's do it. All right. Well. This really big house and this is the best you could think of? It's actually not me. This is a lamp. All right, and uh, hey, yeah, this is kind of awkward. I think I already found you. Is that you behind the curtain? Yeah, you, yeah, you. <laughs> That's not my fault. 30 seconds is not enough time. Lexi, you had 90 acres of land and you went underneath a lamp. I panicked. All right, well, now I'm just relaxing by the fire. You know what, I don't even know why I'm doing this. It's so hot out here, even the chair is melting. You know what, I have an idea. The house also comes with a personal chef if you want it, and I definitely want it. So he'll be here in 30 minutes. So we're gonna meet him outside. I'm starving, so this is perfect timing. Brent? What? I mean, no. What? I'm not Brent. Where's the chef? I am the chef. What did you do with the chef? None of your business, okay? <gasps> I'm here because I am sick of that small hotel or whatever you call that. Okay, well you have to stay there, no, let so. let me in. No, you can't come in. Why not? But don't close that door on me. Don't close that door. No, no. Wow, this is nice. Oh my God. No, Lexi, let me in. No. Yes, I walked all the way here. <laughs> I walked all the way here. Yeah, how did you even find this place? In the hot desert. Can you at least give me like a ride back? No, nope, sorry. I walked all the way here. It took me like an hour and a half. Sorry. Lexi. <sighs> He's still out there. <laughs> sorry, Brent. Hey, no. <laughs> Somebody get up! Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube 
YouTube channel. All right, you guys, so for this week's video, I am going to be turning Brent's house into a Target, and he has no idea. So if you guys are excited, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up right now. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get this video started. So you guys, the reason that I want to build a Target in Brent's house is because the other day, I accidentally wore a red shirt to Target, and someone mistook me for a worker. Excuse me? Yeah. Do you think you would help me find something? Oh, no, I don't work. And then it got me thinking, why don't I work at Target? In fact, why don't I open my own Target store? Hello, where are the tampons? So then I went back to Target, this time incognito, because I needed to spy on my local competitor. Basically, my Target needs to look a lot better than this one. This is gonna be some tough competition. This Target has everything. Lexi, what are you doing? We're in Target, we're supposed to be spying. I can't hear you. We're in Target, don't. What'd you say? Hey. You're lame. Hey, did you forget what we came here for? Oh yeah, sorry, let's spy. You guys, there's even a Starbucks in this Target. I don't know what I got myself into. I think we're ready. All right, so we just arrived at Brent's house and I have Brent staying at our family house in the meantime because I want this to be a surprise. Tomorrow is the grand opening of Lexi's Target. But with that being said, and Lexi's Target is officially open for business. Ben and Pearson! Yeah. You guys are my very first customers. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> Put these blindfolds on. Oh no. This can't be good. Uh, right this way. Oh, I forgot I you, guys, you guys can't see. Do you guys have any <laughs> guesses considering what I'm wearing I think today? I forgot what she was wearing. <laughs> Okay, my friends don't pay attention to me. Are you guys ready to see the surprise? Yeah. Take yeah. your blindfolds off in three, two, one. <gasps> I'm Target! Wow. <laughs> so I'm the Target employee, I'm the manager, I am the owner of this establishment. I built this Target from the ground up. Well, you guys, you're free to shop around, except you, Ben, you need to go to the personal care aisle to get some deodorant. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, like you said, personal care. Okay, right. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, I guess I'll get some shampoo. Oh um, we get a face mask too. Yeah, so you guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. If not, uh, you guys can look around. Just Thank you. Get some diapers for my future baby. Do you happen to have any adult diapers for your brother? Oh! Oh, oh wonderful. Thank you so much. No. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And then Ben can also borrow a few of those. Oh, okay. We'll get some. We'll get some. <laughs> I'm about to go to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say their name here. Get out of my store. I'm okay. Wait. You guys are gonna be working here what? now. Cause I am the only one doing everything. Hey, hey welcome, welcome to Target. Target. Are, are you looking, looking for anything specific, specific today? today? Okay. That is terrifying. Ben and Pearson are my newest employees, and our next customer is going to be Dom. Wait, 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 wait. Since we work here now, do we get the employee discount? Oh, Absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> hey, Dom. Welcome to Target. Hey, how's it going? Here, please take a card. Feel oh. free to shop around. If you have any questions, just ask any one of uh, yes, me and my three employees. Yes. Also, if you're thirsty for coffee, we also have a Starbucks right up behind us. Yeah. Wow, okay. Lexi, isn't this not your house? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's take a look at the personal care right behind you. Oh, let's, wow. Let's you have a whole close section. Attention. Okay. Great, you guys. can start the early Christmas shopping for Sophie right here. That's actually not a bad idea. Thank you. you know. Man. Yep, you're going to need one of these. You want this too, right? And I don't... we need Play Doh. Uh oh, ages two and up. Mm. Never mind. Dom can't have oh. a Play Doh. This is the toy aisle right here. This is here. the best aisle. Wow. You guys have the kinetic set? No way. You know what? I'm starting to like this video a whole lot. It's okay. a, Dom's a big spender. Well, there's, no, there's no price tag, so I assume everything's free, right? Oh. It's double the price of the regular Target. I have to make money here, Dom. Um. And also, Dom, if you look behind us, there's a TV for sale for $3,100. We'll be nice. We'll give you a discount for uh, 3099 That's yes. the same number. No, no it's, it's not. $1 off. That's not that much of a discount. Oh. Can I interest you in a, a sweater with oh, orange? Oh, shoes. Oh, oh. shoes. Oh. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Guys, 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 guys. I think I'm good. I'm ready to check out. I don't even think I need half this stuff, but can I please just check out before you guys start putting stuff over? Okay. Yep. Okay. I'll take this too. How are we looking? Whew. Your total is going to be seventy six thousand dollars and ninety nine cents. What? How is it? Yeah. No, like, like, like we're shopping. Thank you. I can't get my stuff. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
All right, you guys, it is finally time for Brent to see the target that I put in his house. Let's get his reaction. Brent! Why are you in my house? You know how I've been having you stay at our family house for the last two days? <laughs> it's because I have a pretty big surprise here for you. Really? Yes. And what is it? Well, I'm not gonna tell you. You have to put this light bulb on. Surprise or a bad surprise? It's a good surprise, but I have a feeling you're, you might get mad at me. Do you have any guesses? Better not have like made my house a bowling alley or anything. Ooh, don't give me any ideas. <laughs> and Brent, take off your blindfold in a three, two, one. <laughs> what? Okay, well, let's see target. How can we help you today? Yeah. Uh, take a cart. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Well, welcome to Target. Please feel free to shop around. If you have any questions, let us know. This is my house. No, no this is Target. Okay, okay, since you act like a baby, may I take you to the baby aisle? Wait, what? Okay, so I know that you were looking for have them in stock on the bottom shelf. Oh, I don't need the diapers, but you know who does need the diapers? Ben needs the diapers. No, 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 they're, yeah. they're for you. We have a powder butt rash, so we also have powder for you. Yeah. Did you tell them I'm butt rash? I don't have a butt rash. <laughs> and we interest you in a brand new flat screen TV for $3,100. No, this is my flat screen TV. Why would I buy it back? No, it's not. It's Target's. You just put a sale sign on it. If you want to buy it, place a bid. If you don't, get out. Get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, only the best Targets have a Starbucks inside of them. All right, so this is the Starbucks. And I guess I am also the barista here. So would you like anything? I guess I'll have one croissant. One croissant, okay. And I'll also have an iced coffee, please. An iced coffee. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you. And one iced coffee. All right. And then one iced coffee for an idiot that lets his sister put a Target in his house. Oh, that's not me. That's a common name. That must be you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Literally everything in the home decor aisle is my tableware. And would you like to buy any of it? No. Bad news team. Kid throw up on aisle two. No, yeah. Was Jeremy? Oh no. You need someone to clean that up okay. and maybe restock some of these shelves. Uh, so I'm gonna have to basically kick you guys out because uh, this is my house and I can't have a target in my house. We don't close till ten. Close up shop now and get out. You, you can't do this to me. I have a family. I have kids. No, Please. You do not. I have kids and and Please. a dog. Did you at least like the target? For the employees that worked here. <laughs> no, I didn't like anything. Oh. <laughs> Alright, guys, so I am cleaning up. Lexi's target is officially closed. Yeah. Andrew? There's a target here. Is that true? Well, there was, but it's 11 o'clock at night, so... Is there security? No. <laughs> Andrew, you can't steal my stuff. What's the point of hiding it in your shirt if I'm watching you steal my stuff? You can't steal my inventory, Andrew. Andrew! <laughs> Andrew! <laughs> Andrew! <laughs> because I love shopping, so I'm very excited to be doing this. And without further ado, let's get this video started. Woo! We just arrived at the mall. I will not be leaving this mall for the next 24 hours. I love the mall, but I don't know if I'm gonna love it as much after this video. All right, you guys, so I am now here with Jeremy. What's going on? Okay, so Jeremy, I have to stay in this mall for the next 24 hours. Jeremy, I invited you here to spend a couple hours with me. What are you gonna do? Well, we'll just have fun. All right, let's go do it. <laughs> let's do it. So Jeremy was shopping for clothes and now I can't find him, so. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much for entertaining me for a few hours. You are now free to leave if you want. Oh, I, I'm free? I mean, if you All want. All right, I'll see you later, Lexi. Jeremy! Yeah, okay, so luckily there's a target in this mall, so we're gonna be doing a little challenge. All right, so I am here with my mom. Hi, guys. And my mom is a teacher, and with that being said, I'm going to be giving you two minutes to fill this cart with whatever you want for your students, and I will buy it. Oh my gosh, they will love it. Okay, this. your time starts now. Oh my <laughs> Go. Sweeping out of the shelf. Everybody's so excited. Oh. Oh, Scooby Doo. Oh my gosh, they have to be appropriate. Oh, I don't know. Oh. What do you need this for? I don't know, but I only have a few minutes left. They will love these. 
All right, so this is a two-story Target, and a lot of the school supplies are downstairs. So, Mom, I'm adding two minutes to your time. So, let's go. Let's go. Go, go, go. Oh, this is like the favorite ever. Gosh, look at the Disney princesses. They are gonna love these. Oh my gosh, we got Mickey. They love these for Halloween. They can paint them. This puzzle. They are gonna love Three, two, one. Oh my God. I mean, I'm happy for your students. They deserve this. I did a great job. You did. Alright, let's check out. Okay, so it's totaled up to almost $1,100. Oh my god. Do you think your students are going to be happy? They are going to be thrilled. Thank you so much. Right. Hey, so honey, are I you staying? Yes, yeah, so I can't leave them all, so I'll see you tomorrow morning. Oh, good luck. So I've been in this mall for quite a while now. I've shopped around. I've done pretty much everything there is to do in a mall. Let's see if anyone else wants to hang out with me. Because right now I'm sitting by myself in the food court. So, we're doing good. What's up? So Ben, I asked you to come here because there's a trampoline park in this mall. And we're going in? And we're going in. Yes! All right, let's have some fun. Again, and I don't want to stay with you any longer. Oh my god! Uh, All right, three, two, two one. Two. Oh my god! Can we get one more try? All right, let's one more get try. your ears pierced. Then let's one more get try. your ears pierced. Not only is Ben in the chair, but Ben's getting a pink rose. Wait, hold up. No, I, was, I wasn't ready. It's done. Oh. oh my god. So pretty. See, aren't you glad that you missed that shot in basketball? They have to be pink. <laughs> it had to, it be, had to pink. be pink. Oh, oh. Yeah, let's go. All right, Ben. So you got your ears pierced. We went to the jump place. You're you're pretty much free to go now. Real quick before I go, uh -huh. I think I like pulled my back in the trampoline park. <laughs> and you like massage my back. You want me to give you a massage? I got hurt in your video, so yeah. I have an idea. Great idea. All right, you guys, so been here at the mall, obviously. It is getting very late. In fact, it's dark outside. And with that being said, I need to eat dinner. And so I invited Pearson to eat dinner with me. There she is. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Pearson, as you know, I've been staying here at the mall all day and I will stay here tonight as well. And I just wanted some company for, for dinner tonight. Of course, have you done enough shopping? I've done enough shopping. Where was my invite there? I don't know, I'm sorry. What the heck? I bought you some stuff. Are you gonna buy me dinner too? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'll buy you dinner, I'll buy you dinner. Okay, let's go. So for dinner, we are at a buffet mm -hmm. for a reason. For a reason? I'm going to pick out a bunch of food for you. And if you eat all of the food, then good job. But if you don't finish all of the food that I pick out for you, you have to stay the night with me. Oh, no, 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 no. Lexi, that's a lot of sushi. I mean, <laughs> you to stay the night with me. I don't even like sushi that much. All right, Lexi, that's enough pasta. No, it's that's not. That's enough pasta. No, it's not. That's enough noodles. As much as I love you, I'm not staying with you. I think you're gonna have to. No. So, Pearson. Are you for real? I'm for no. real. <laughs> you combined the weirdest foods on top of each other. Noodles and cookies? What are you saying? That Where sounds is my delicious. <laughs> First thing, down the hatch. Okay, I'm gonna start with the ice cream and move backwards. That's part of my strategy. Like, go, 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 go. E, 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 E. 
Oh yeah, Lexi, I forgot we put broccoli on this plate. It was covered in noodles. We've literally been here for so long. I have to say she's very determined to finish this. Can you help me eat this? I can't. I already ate my dinner. She's getting full. I'm not having fun anymore. You guys, I'm really starting to feel bad. Look at these plates, you guys. Don't show my tummy. My tummy, <laughs> Look at this tummy, my tummy is really full right now. In the beginning, you guys, these plates were stacked. Okay, so congratulations, Ferris, and you don't have to stay the night with oh me tonight. God. Are you happy about it? No, I could have just never came and I would have been fine. But you wouldn't have spent time with me. Okay. <laughs> Everything is closed. I know, you guys, the stores are literally closed now. I'm trying to get a pretzel. Anybody here? Hello? You guys, don't go to Auntie Anne's. They have the worst service. <laughs> just kidding. They're just closed. You guys, I wouldn't blame someone for coming in here and kicking me out just for being annoying. All is closed. I'm literally the only one here besides you. And when you leave, it's gonna just be me. Wait, now I'm regretting this. So I'm gonna try to find a place for me to sleep because it's late, the mall's closed, so there's nothing else for me to do. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I found my spot for the night. It's behind this sort of vending machine thing just in case people come in in the morning and I'm still asleep. I don't want people to see me. But you guys, I was at the mall all day today and didn't think to buy a pillow or a blanket. So I'm literally going to be sleeping on the mall floor carpet. It's hard as a rock. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Oh my god. It's going to be a rough night. So I'll see you guys when I wake up. We made it! You guys, we made it to the morning. It's currently 8.09, and technically some of the stores in here opened at 8. I'm assuming there's a few exits or entrances that are open already, so let's head toward one, because I need to get out of here. There's the exit. We're so close. You guys, I think I'm the only person in the mall right now that's not a worker, because everyone's looking at me like, how did she get in there? <laughs> We're out! Oh, it's so bright. You guys, we just successfully completed a 24-hour challenge in the mall. That's crazy. Time to get more sleep. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, you guys, so today I will be pranking Brent that I sold his brand new house. In addition to that, I will be ignoring him all day up until that point. And the whole reason I am doing this video is because I have a huge surprise for him that will take place inside of his house toward the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. I am super, super excited to share the surprise with you guys because I think he's really gonna love it. So if you're excited to see this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up right now and let's get this video started. Woo! You guys, he's already calling for Lexi, can you be in this video real quick? Lexi, Lexi. Hello. Lexi. Can you be in this video real quick? Lexi. Lexi. What? Lexi. You guys, I feel so bad, but this is so funny. Okay, I'm gonna keep it going for a little longer. <laughs> All right, let's wait for him to bug me again. Lexi, do you want to get lunch? Do you want to get lunch, Lexi? Why are you ignoring me? Lexi, come on, what, what do you want for lunch? Lexi, I'm going to pay for it. Fine, all right, I'll get food myself then. I'm not going to get you anything either. I probably should have took the opportunity to get a free lunch. <laughs> Mason and Lexi are here. Hi. Um, I, have a, I have a big favor to ask from you two. Okay, what's up? Do you guys think that when you go in there, you can just ignore Brent? Absolutely. I would love that. <laughs> really? I would love oh, yeah. Okay, because oh, yeah, like I, cool. I have a big surprise for him toward the end of the day, and I want to just kind of, you know, prank him in the beginning. So, yeah, if you guys yeah. could ignore him, that would be awesome. I got Perfect. You. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I got some more food. So you didn't really get anything to eat, huh? We're getting a flame brother. Oh, that sounds good. Hey guys. Hey, what's up? What's up? Hello. Just eating my macaroni. Come on. <laughs> like, this isn't enough though. Like, I should have ordered more food. Mm -hmm. What is it? Mac and cheese? Did we order flame brother? Yeah. Didn't I ask you, Lexi, to go get food? And then you got food with them? I look for how. Is that new? Yeah. yeah. No, I've had it. Oh. No, you're just not Why are you ignoring me? Yeah. Do you two want to like? Are y'all ignoring me? Going out after this? Oh, it's just funny. Oh, yeah. Did you hear something? It sounds like a real funny. ferret. Hello. <laughs> like a Hello? ferret, or maybe like a rat, <laughs> a mouse. You guys are funny. Some kind of rodent for sure. I mean, if you two are down, then you get dinner or later on. Yeah, we should go to sushi on fire. Yeah. My brother loves that place. I'm I'm just, I wish we had a good group going. You know? yeah. 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 Do you think Brent would want to go? No. Probably not. Where is he? No. I don't know. I haven't seen him all day. I haven't seen him in a while. Just walked out. Oh my god. I feel so bad. Okay, so now Ben is coming over to ignore Brent, so let's do this. 
Last week is right here. No, I haven't seen him all day. Yeah, I'm right here. Can you let me know when he comes back? Yeah. I'm right here. Why? Okay. What do you need? I just need to like just think with him for I think like five minutes. Okay. Um, just text me when he's back though. Okay. I'm right here. Um, and that will be good. Hello. Okay. You know where he went? No. I don't know where he went. I literally haven't seen him all okay. day. We're getting lunch as well, like later. So. Who? Me? Okay. You didn't ask me about that. Hello. Just let me know when he's back. Okay. okay. I'll text you this when he's so back. See ya. Yeah. You guys are all rude. All right, you guys. Now time to tell Brent that I sold his house. This prank is going to be so crazy. I put a for sale sign and a sold sign out in front of the house. I hired three people to play the family that bought Brent's house. And then I hired one more person to play a realtor that essentially sold Brent's house to the family. So the realtor is going to ask Brent to sign these release papers. And on the last page of these release papers, it says check this box if you agree that you're the easiest person to prank and sign below. And that is how Brent is going to know that this is all a prank. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready? Yeah! Okay, so I'm gonna text Brent right now and I'm just gonna say, come to your house really fast, someone needs you to sign something, and then the question marks as if like, I don't know what's going on either, so let's do that. Okay, he just said okay, so I guess I'll wait for him, he should be here any minute. I'm nervous. Let's go. This is scary. He's walking up. Brent, you made it! Let's go out of here. About time. I need you to sign the things here for my last video, congratulations. What is this? What is this? I see. I sold your house for you, but you have to sign those. Those are like the. How did you forms. sell my house? Well, I put it up for sale, and they bought it. And I gave them money to give to you. And they come back and made us sell the house. What? What do you mean you sold my house? I thought you'd want this. I don't get it. How did you even, how did you sell my house? Okay, thanks to hell, we're not selling my house. We're not even finished with the house yet. Why would I already sell it? Well, they they seem to like it, not yeah. fully. Yeah. I'll finish it. Because they wanted to add stuff, they said, like, with their own little twist to it, so. A couple of models. Just need you to sign the back page here. Right here in the end after, uh, I'm going to signature. <laughs> Check this box if you agree that you are the easiest person to prank in some way. Check it. Here. Check I'll it. Ch I'll check it. Yes. <laughs> Sign, sign and date. Wow, wow, you got me, Lexi. Are you kidding me? I was scared of you. I was scared of you. actually sell my house. Did you? And they were like looking at it like, oh, like, yeah. Yeah, they were like walking around another new house. Oh my god, what the heck? Oh man. You can pop, 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 pray. Well, you know what? If you guys want to buy the house in a few months when it's done. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's, is that why you're ignoring me all day? Yes and no. I mean, I have like another surprise for you. Great. Well, it's like a, it's, a, it's a good surprise, but it's like in your house. But I think you right. really like it. Let's let's do it. All right, you guys. This prank was a success. I really think that we sold him. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you guys a little sneak peek at the surprise and how it's been going. so good so far. I am so excited for him to see it. So let's get back to the video. Okay, Brent, I am really sorry about that prank. You should be. So the whole reason that I ignored you and did that prank is because I have a little surprise for you. Oh, a surprise. Yeah, so as you know, and I'm sure most of you guys watching this know as well, Brent's whole brand is relatable. And so I had someone do a little something for you inside your house. Really? So Where? do you want to come this way? Okay, I'm a little <laughs> No. No way. What? Do you love it? <laughs> oh my god. Do you like it? I love it. This is crazy. Yeah, you guys. So, so relatable, relatable all up the wall. Yes. It, it looks so good. Oh my god, thank you, Lexi. So you were also saying that you wanted to make this room like a podcast room possibly? Yeah, it's gonna be a podcast room. So I wanted to do something super cool on the wall, like for a cool background. So what do you think? Um, I think it's 10 out of 10. I think this is great. I love it. I literally think it looks so good. Oh my gosh. This was definitely worth you guys ignoring me all day. <laughs> Bring it in, Brent. Alright, let's not get carried away. Okay. And that is because we are going to open a Starbucks in here. We have a bunch of stuff from Starbucks, so we're gonna set all of that up, recruit some workers, and then surprise Brent. If you guys are excited to see this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up right now, and let's get this video started. Woo! All right, you guys, we are all done 
setting up and this is the final reveal. This is the grand opening of our at home Starbucks. All right, we're gonna be Starbucks employees in three, two, one. Welcome okay, to Starbucks, what can I get for you? you? Okay guys, so we are now in our uniforms and Pearson's gonna come over and we're gonna have her work with us today. Welcome to Starbucks, Pearson. What Hello. can I get for you? Wow, you know, I'm really in the mood for a mocha frappe. And that'll be $27. 20, oh, just for the video? No, no, for real. Okay, you guys, so we have no idea how to make the drink that Pearson asked for, but we're gonna try our best. <laughs> Well, like, there's kind of a lot of reasons, so. Are you serious? Yeah. Did I, like, do something? I mean, you, yeah, you you did something, but, like, also you've, like, been doing stuff, so it's, like. So multiple things. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Are you being serious? Yeah. I think maybe, like, instead of being friends, like, you can just be my coworker. Oh, wait, wait, what? <laughs> oh, my prank. God. That was a prank? <laughs> yeah. I was like, what did I do? Oh, Jeremy, I want to be oh. your friend. Oh, thank you. All right, you guys, here is the team that will be working at Starbucks today. Woo! I have a feeling we're gonna have a lot of customers, so yeah. let's be ready, Woo. all right? Do it. <laughs> Do it. Oh, look, another customer. Is that a Dunkin' Cup? Leave oh, it oh, 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 Wait, wait, wait. Let's get out of here. Are you serious? Yeah, you dare put your face in this place and get it. Talk to your manager. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, we can't do this. My grandma's like the sweetest person ever. I feel so bad. A customer. Hello, customer. What would you like today? Right. Coffee, half cap with white mocha, um, with whole fruit cream on top. Um, definitely with almond. No, make that oat milk. And then two shots of espresso, shaken, not stirred. And what size would you like? Um, like a medium. Um. I don't understand what's so complicated. It's, it's that's not in the Starbucks dictionary. I don't know. Did you mean a grande? I don't know. I just want you to explain a small and a big one. You guys are on the job. Oh, really? you're, you're, you're fired. Wait, wait, wait. Uh -oh. ah. All right, so here is your, your drink. Oh my gosh, okay. it's been like 15 years. You really put a lot of time on that. So that's, not <gasps> that's disgusting. Well, I didn't make that. You, made that. Yeah, you did make that. No, I just gave it to her. How could we fix it? All right, guys, so Andrew made that drink, which is probably why it was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> you like, you can do any better. I can't. No, you can't. Guaranteed. Yes, she could. That's she makes a Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna settle this by having a competition to see who can make the best Starbucks drink. Let's see who will be our judge. All right, let's get started. Milk. All right, put that in the blender. The second ingredient is some ice. Oh wow, look at that form. <laughs> and I think it's about done. First, you take the ice okay. and then lick it and kiss oh it. Oh my God! Oh wow, look at oh. that technique. Oh. Wow. Then what you do is you take, this may look like green food coloring, but. Uh, Wait, that is green food coloring. No, 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 coloring. no, no, no. It's, <gasps> it's green tea matcha flavoring. No, it's not. Anyways. Yeah. Oh. This is, um. <gasps> oh wow. Oh wait, that is a beautiful drink. Thank you, thank you so much. And cheers to that. Cheers to that. All right, you guys, so for my drink, I am going to be attempting to make a pink drink. Am I kidding? I went to Starbucks before we started filming and I bought a pink drink. <laughs> All right, so here is 
my drink. Uh, to be honest, I think it looks a little bit better than Jeremy's and Pearson's. I'm gonna be making a pumpkin spice frappuccino. Oh. And you know, uh, perfect, that's enough. Okay. Some milk. Oh, there we go. Now it's coming out. Boom, boom, boom. And that's it. All right. <laughs> Some whipped cream. Oh, wow. And we're good to go. All right, there's Angie's drink, guys. So, um, we all prepared a drink for you. And you're gonna let us know whose drink is the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not drinking this because it's literally a glass of milk. <laughs> What? This you is no. milk with food coloring, so I also <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Oh, no. That was a oh, wait. <laughs> So, um, it's good, but I'm pretty sure this is from an actual star. Well, what makes you say that? Um, something between the strawberries and the exact taste. Is she um, she? And no, I'm just really good. <laughs> what? <gasps> it's literally a class of milk with <laughs> as much as I hated Andrew's drink, I will be choosing Andrew as the winner. Wow. No! I That's quit! Right. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright you guys, so we've been working hard um, for the majority of the day here, and I think it is now time to surprise Brent with the Starbucks in his house. Let's do it. Let's He's gonna be it. honestly like so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna give Brent a call and kind of prank him so that he gets here faster. <laughs> Watch him not answer, he's not here. Hello? Hello? Um, you should come to your house, like, right now. Why? Because there's, like, a bunch of people working inside, but, like, they're not, like, the workers that are usually here. What do you mean? They're, like, in your kitchen, like... Just hurry! Yeah, I would just hurry. They're yeah. making a mess. That's yeah, kind of weird. Jesus Christ. Bro, stop! Seriously, cut it out. Right. Okay, okay hurry, right. bye. <laughs> Why did you yell at the <laughs> imaginary people? To make it more believable. <laughs> Are we gonna keep it this way? This is actually really cool. All right, so uh, <laughs> what, what can we get started for you? Um, can I get a, a pumpkin spice latte? Okay, and your name? Brent. All right, Steven, you can wait for your drink over there. Thank you. All right, Steven, here's your drink. Hope you enjoy it. What did, what did you do to it? Oh, Andrew actually peed in that one. Mm -hmm. I did. You did? Yeah. Yeah, we had some sugar in that. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. It tastes exactly like uh, water. Oh mm. my god. This Starbucks. This is not good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys, that is it for this week's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed Brent, it. You did? Yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Yeah. Good, maybe we'll come to work tomorrow. We just wasted to get here. So for this week's video, we are going to be spending 24 hours in this baseball. And this is all thanks to Jeremy because oh, and he is eating his ham. Wow. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get started. Okay, so since we're stuck in here, we might as well have some fun. <laughs> so we will each have our own wads of cash, and the last person to make is this wad of cash into one of these buckets gets a disadvantage in the next challenge. Alright. Let's do it. Alright guys, I'm gonna go first and show you guys how it's done. I played basketball my whole life. Watch it. Boom. Oh! Wow! Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, hey. okay, so there's still time. Andrew could hey. not make this. I played a little bit of basketball too. Come on. No, you didn't. Oh, oh wow! Alright, it is now between me and Andrew, the last person to make it in. Oh. Bruh, how did you air pop this? This is for you, Jeremy. Bruh! Oh, oh that's so hot. Oh, oh. oh okay, okay. This is gonna be a long 24 hours. Oh. What does that smell? What? Bricks. Ew, Andrew. Oh, but they're gold bricks. Oh. oh. <laughs> What the? Whoa. <laughs> All 
Alright you guys, so the goal for this challenge is to get through the lasers and touch the pile of money in the fastest time. And since I lost the last challenge, I have to do this with a blindfold on. There is no, oh, yeah, there's no way you're gonna, you're not gonna do that. Alright, Andrew's gonna go first. You got this, Andrew. Here we go. Ready? memorize it before I put the blindfold on. Five, four, three, two, one, back oh on. Oh my there god. Go. Okay. Yeah. I don't even think it matters. You wouldn't have made it even if you weren't blindfolded. But go for it. Go! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No what? way! Did Wait, how? You did it! Did I really? No, there's no way. Though. You gotta hit like 30,000 times. Alright, awesome. Yeah, okay. Alright, Jeremy, are you ready? Oh yeah. Alright, three, two, one. Ah! Hey! On, he I made it. that! He I made money. that! You have to touch the Oh, we're there! Woo! Hey. Jeremy's the only one that didn't hit the lasers. You want a sleeping bag tonight? Oh, wow! Wait, do you guys get sleeping bags or not? Wait, no. what are we sleeping in? Alright guys, I won that challenge, so get off my sleeping bag. No, why would we get off your sleeping bag? Isn't it time for bed? No, we're not going to sleep yet, there's another challenge. What? Yeah, one more. No. You guys, it involves winning money. Oh. <laughs> okay, so right here we have a lot of money bags, but only one of the bags has actual money inside of it. Okay. Okay, right. so each of you will be carrying five bags, and you cannot stop moving, and you cannot drop your bag. Because the winner gets whatever is inside of their five bags. Oh, let's start this challenge. Mm -hmm. right. One of them has money in it, so pick wisely. Oh, let's get it. All right, got this one, this one, no, this one. Okay, and you cannot switch these bags, okay? What you picked is what you picked. All so, right. start moving, don't drop them. Hey, you guys can happy, yeah, yo. You guys can, like, these are them. actually heavy. Yeah. A little fun fact about Jeremy is he says he goes to the gym, but nobody has ever seen him at the gym. Oh, is that? <gasps> oh! Hey, whoa! Yeah. The girls are fighting. Oh, oh yeah. Get out! <laughs> no! Hey! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it actually hurts. You guys, they've been going at it for like 45 minutes. Your fingers are looking extra red, Jeremy. They are. Get a close up of Jeremy's hands. Oh, you. Bruh. Oh, my God. All right, nope. I'm done. Ah! Oh, wait. oh my gosh! Okay. Sorry, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Rocks? Rocks? Oh my god! <laughs> you won for nothing. Bruh. Look at that. Woo! Yeah, but Jeremy, you don't get to keep it. <laughs> Why? So nobody wins. Literally nobody won. Alright, there's nothing else to do inside this vault except go to sleep, so I think that's what we're gonna do. Alright, and then we have Jeremy in his sleeping bag. Jeremy, you ready for bed? Yeah, let's turn off the lights. Alright, hopefully the next time I see you guys, it will be the morning. Good night. Night. Jeremy. What? Stop grilling. I'm making myself a little midnight snack. Shut up. Oh my god. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> I'm leaving the vault. You guys are welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, we're gonna get out now. We can leave. Jeremy, you can leave now. You really want to go back to sleep? It's 6:30 in the morning. Bro, are you sleeping on my butt? Um, Bro. okay. We did it! Woo! We made it! Good morning. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> Bro, how does he have all that energy? I, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> me too. Somebody take me home, please. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, so for this week's video, we are going to be seeing who can make a better store at home. I definitely can. So this is going to be a competition between Brent and myself. And I'm gonna win. I don't know about that. If you guys are excited, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up right now and let's get this video started. Let's go. Woo! Okay, in this hat are a bunch of popular restaurants and stores and this is going to decide which places we get to recreate. All right, here we go. I don't want wins. <laughs> Starbucks! Ah. I know how to make the perfect Starbucks. No, I'm jealous. I want a Starbucks. Okay, my turn. What is it? McDonald's. Oh! <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Okay, I'm not mad about this. So, Brent, you have Starbucks, I have McDonald's, and let the best store owner win. Bring it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do Let's it. Go. Okay, so Brent will be transforming his kitchen, and I will be transforming this kitchen. Let's get started. All right, 
it's time to beat Lexi, like I always do, so let's get started. All right, just like that, welcome to Starbucks. All right, the renovation of Lexi's McDonald's has begun. All right, you guys, my store is complete. Welcome to McDonald's, what can I get for you? Okay, something tells me that my store might be a little bit better than Brent, but I think Brent is finishing up right now, so let's see how he's doing. My Starbucks is now complete. Good luck competing with this, Lexi. All right, I told Brent to come over when he's all finished, so he should be here any minute. Let's see what he thinks. Welcome to Lexi's McDonald's. Wow. You know what? I'm not surprised that it turned out this bad. What? I just feel like it's a little disorganized. I feel like- Disorganized? Come take a look at the detail. I have chicken nuggets here. Those look rock. Big Macs, hamburgers, french fries, more Big Macs, chicken nuggets. I have all this stuff. What's the secret menu? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a secret. <laughs> you know what? I'll give it to you. It does look pretty good, but it does not compare to my Starbucks. Okay, we're going to let the judges decide. So, we have Three judges coming and uh, Pierce and Ben and Dom. <laughs> Great. Great. All right, you guys. So we are now here with our three judges. Hello. So you guys, Brent and I are having a competition to see who can make the best store at home. Okay. okay. And you guys are going to judge us based off of overall appearance, uh -huh. product quality, okay. and customer service. Oh. So are you guys ready to see Lexi's McDonald's? Let's do it. Food been sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> Not as long as Brent's food at his Starbucks. Okay. Okay, so Pearson, you're in front of the line. What can I get for you? I'm really feeling a cheeseburger. Okay. That would be amazing. Ben! Ben! What? What's the there's a line! No! No, there isn't! Wait, why did I pick Ben to be a judge? Sure. No, oh. it is mine! There's, there's more where that came from. Where would it be? Lexi's? Oh, okay. <laughs> Gonna wrap this up real nice for nice. you, Pearson. Wow! Yeah. Thank you so much. I will definitely be back. Okay. And um, tips are greatly appreciated. Did you? <laughs> did you bring any money? Come on, I'm more broke than our ice cream machine. <laughs> oh. You know what? I'll take that. Thank you. Okay. okay. I'm nice. I'll take my car. Oh my god! Oh, wow. Okay. Dom. Hi. What can I get for you? Um, I was wondering if I could get your number. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll get like a Big Mac. Okay. Thank you. On it. Ben ate all of our Big Macs. We don't have any more left. Let's improvise. <laughs> um, order for Dom? Yes. That's okay, here you go. One, one Big Mac, right? Thank you. Okay, yeah. enjoy it, please. You gotta give a high score. <laughs> this is not a Big Mac. It's a Big MacBook I'm computer. Sorry. We ran out of Big Macs. He ate all of them. No, what? I didn't. I'm sorry, I had to improvise. I, mean, I, I can't risk getting a lower score than Brent. Hey, do you have any more of those Big Macs? Cause I'll take one. I'll, I'll take yeah. it. Thank you. This this has been a good purchase. Okay. This <laughs> McDonald's is great. <laughs> oh, this is like stale. Like so. Um, if you wanted to eat oh. fresh, you should have gone to Subway. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. I think that it is time to head over to a bread Starbucks. Um, I'm down. Where's Ben? I was having fun here. Mm -hmm. Where is Ben? 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 Oh, there he is. Are you fed? <laughs> are, are you kidding me? Okay, you guys, so now we're going to head over to Brent's Starbucks and you guys are gonna see which one you like better. Okay, okay. let's go. Okay. All right, come in, guys. Look at Ben! Oh. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Hi, Hi. wow, look at this. Whoa. By the way, guys, I saw a rat run across this countertop oh, like five minutes ago. Kitchen, please? Okay. I did. Hi. Well, we'll start really good for you. A chocolate chip frappuccino. One frappuccino coming right up, huh? Is that sweet tea? No, it's it's frappuccino juice. Oh. Pearson, are you seeing the ingredients he's using? I'm seeing it. I see chocolate. I don't. Oh, God. Oh, that was okay. What did you ask for again? A chocolate chip frappuccino, but this is looking like tea and chocolate sauce. This? And water, sink water. Oh, my God. All right. We'll blend it now. Am I gonna get food poisoning after this? Yeah, but yeah. you know you know where you wouldn't get food poisoning? Like McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> Your drink will be right up. I was just asking that you don't use sweet tea for my frappuccino. <laughs> It's chocolate, hon. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh my god, it's red! Why is it red? Oh. It doesn't look very appetizing. No, it does not. <laughs> All right. One frappuccino. Uh, that's nasty. When you're giving out the scores later on, remember just this. remember this drink right remember here. This <laughs> by December 25th, 2020. Uh, oh. Goodbye. Cheers, Dom. Nice knowing you. 
Oh, oh my wow, God. that's that's really good. Thank you. Okay. So what would you like? I don't know why I'm even giving you a chance, <laughs> but I'll get a latte. A latte? What kind of latte? Oh, bad choice. I heard he pees in the latte. What? Oh. Okay, even better. <laughs> I'll get a vanilla latte. Okay, a vanilla latte. All right, we have an order for loser. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thanks a latte. Wow. Oh, okay, first of all, you spell my name wrong, and you gave a corny joke. And he's eating on the job. Who is this guy? This is really I'm hungry. hungry. It's my story. Give me what I want. Okay, but this. Oh! Thank you, Drink. Okay, I'm pretty hungry, so I'll take two of those sandwiches and then one croissant. Oh, okay. Please. Oh, wow. Okay, I'll take one croissant. There you go. And how much is that? Oh, that's gonna be eight for me. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be eight. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be eight. 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 Okay. Let's vote. Let's vote. All right, you guys, it's time to vote. All right, guys, after long consideration, product quality, my drink was empty. It deserves a lot. Customer service, I'm gonna give them a three. Overall appearance, I'm gonna give them a nine. It was actually decorated nice. Now time for Lexi's McDonald's. Product quality, I'm gonna give it an eight. Customer service, I'm gonna give her a nine. Overall appearance, I mean, she did look pretty good in that McDonald's apron. Maybe I read that wrong. All right, voting has been submitted. All right, so we're gonna start off with product quality. You know what, Lexi's food was really, really good. I'm gonna give it an eight. Customer service, phenomenal. So I'm gonna give that a six. Okay, overall appearance, a nine. All right, now on to Brent's. Product quality was negative 415, but I can't choose that. I'm just gonna say zero. Customer service, he did give me some free food, and that definitely bumped him up a bunch, so I'm gonna give him 25. Overall appearance, Lexi's was better, so I'm gonna give him an eight. Okay, so I'm doing Lexi's right now. First thing is product quality. She did give me a computer, so we give her a 10. Customer service, like a six. She wasn't that nice. And overall appearance, I would, I mean, I would say it looked really good. Like everything was laid out perfectly. I'll give it a nine. Okay, now we are rating Brent Starbucks. Product quality, zero. <laughs> Customer service, I mean, he was pretty nice. I think he was pretty good. So I'll give him a nine. And overall appearance, I mean, it looked great. So uh, I'll give him a 10 for that because uh, it did look pretty good. Thank you, Brett, for letting me win. For nothing. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>